Hey, good evening. It's uh, Tuesday, July 30th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. I just love these magnificent clouds in the background because they talk about the power of God. And right now, you and I need to know about the power of God because there's so much darkness around us. But tonight we're going to talk about how God keeps his promises. That's our hope. But we have to see things from his perspective. I'm going to finish up the uh, thoughts on pornography on some separate videos. They'll be under that playlist, so check them out there. And Friday, we're going to do Q&A Friday. So if you have any questions, send them in, and we can do the Q&A. But tonight, I want to see how God gives us hope in a world that looks very dark. That it seems like that things are just really out of control. Or that God is being mocked. We saw the uh, situation at the opening of the Olympics where there was a, a blasphemous statement about Christianity. And it can seem like we have reason to despair. Brothers and sisters, we don't. God keeps his promises. What we have to understand is what is the nature of those promises and find out from the scriptures what it is that God has committed to. And once we understand what he's committed to, then we can be 100,000% certain that he's going to keep those promises. And that indeed is our hope. Way back in Genesis, in the 12th chapter, God comes to a man called Abram. He's going to change his name to Abraham. But he comes to Abram and says, leave your, leave your place, leave your country, leave your people, and go to a place where I will show you. And then he says, I will be with you. I will make your name great. I will bless you and keep you. Those who bless you, I will bless. Those who curse you, I will curse. And then he says, all the people of the earth will be blessed and protected through you. He made that promise, that covenant promise to Abraham a little over 4,000 years ago. But that's how the world has operated since then. God is committed to his people. Abraham is a symbol of faith. He's not a national symbol. Remember, this is happening 400 years before Moses and the formal uh, inauguration of the land of Israel. This is 400 years before that. He's talking about this nation of faith the city and the architect that Abraham is looking forward to is based on faith. And God is committed to bless his people of faith and curse those who are against the people of faith. And that through the people of faith, following Abraham, he's going to bless the entire world. the hope, the light of the gospel, the hope of Christ that was promised to Eve. Abraham is the one whom that comes to. And you and I can have encouragement in that way. So all of world history as it's unfolded has not unfolded along national lines, along political lines. It's folded, unfolded along lines of faith. That's how we need to understand all of human history. Not see it through the eyes of politics, nations, geography, but through the eyes of faith that God is blessing. It's faith that crashes through all the boundaries. People can set up all the borders they want. Faith breaks through. 
That's how human history is unfolding right now. So when we see the dark things around us in our culture, we tend to get discouraged. But that's why we need to look through eyes of faith. Not through the eyes of politics, not through the eyes of how things are going in our country. That's important. But God is committed to blessing the people of faith that who are indeed the children of Abraham. That's how he's organizing all of human history. Daniel picks up on the same theme some probably 1,500 years after Abraham. And he's been carried off to a foreign country. And it appears as though that the Babylonians and Nebuchadnezzar are in control. They're not. Listen to what Daniel says in chapter 2 of his book. Daniel praised the God of the heavens and declared, May the name of God be praised forever and ever, for wisdom and power belong to him. He changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and establishes kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Wow. <laughs> Appreciate the cow. He reveals the deep hidden things uh, page again. He reveals the deep hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. This is amazing. God is the one who has control over the affairs of people, pandemics, powers, people who are think that they can overthrow God and rewrite the way people live. Put your trust in God. Rest in peace during these dramatic upside-down moments, the moments we're going through right now. Know that even in these uncertain times, God is faithfully keeping his promise to bring blessing to the families of the earth, particularly to the families of faith connected to Abraham. That's our hope. That's where our security is. Taking this from a chapter in uh, my little book, um, when life turns upside down, wrote it to be an encouragement to us in these uncertain times. But they're not uncertain to God, only to us. We need to hang on to those words given to Abram 4,000 years ago. Human history is being played out as God blesses those who honor the faith of God and he curses those who don't. And all the hope that we have in the world right now is because of God's faithfulness to us. And that's the thought for this day. I pray it brings comfort to you as it does to me. And, uh, we've got the uh, storms coming in here, but I'll be able to get back. But thank you so much for just your encouragement. And Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.